Okay, in this vlog, I'll be talking about cars, trucks, and train horns. And fire truck horns. Okay, I know this is not on the fan page, but I had to do this. I got a haircut, first of all, because my m management where I work at made me get a haircut, so no more head banging. But I'm gonna still do what I do. So, let me first say about vehicles. Each person have their own personality, like music. Everyone has a personality of what car they drive, you know? Mine's like a Yukon or something, or a, or a Tahoe or Escalade or something. So, dreaming about my Yukon that in the future I'm gonna get. But I'm kinda broke because I spend my money on worthless piece of shit. So, the thing that I would like to talk about first is trucks. A lot of my friends have trucks. And when I was at the retreat, one of the people there from Chi Alpha Retreat had a lifted truck. And I'm not allowed to say any names because I don't have permission. So it was a it was a silver ice lifted GMC Sierra Denali 2500. Had badass XD rims on it. So I was like, wow. I'm gonna put XDs on my Tahoe or Yukon, whatever SUV I'm ending up getting. So I was looking around, I was like, dude, this is it. He was right there getting a suitcase out of it. And I didn't put any of this in the movie that I made because when he was unloading the suitcase, of course I was filming. But he was like, dude, don't record this. Really, dude? You're gonna film everything? Put it down, put the camera down. I don't want to be on camera. So I was like, you know I got to respect others with filming. If they want to be in the movie, they could. I, we were talking for, about trucks a while. Here in South Carolina, there's a lifted Sierra. One of my friends that went to school with, he has a white Sierra 2500 Denali. It has train horns. Oh, you've seen it. Like, oh, ham pal, you love the train horn. I said, yes. So I was like talking to this guy at the retreat about his truck and stuff that there was a guy on Hilton Head that has a similar truck like this same height level but I'm not a hundred percent sure but he's adding to his truck so let me describe what he had on his truck so the time I saw it he had like a, a, a gooseneck thing in the back where you could hook trailers to and he had like a bar you know how it's like right behind the cab and it's like um, uh, it's like this, and it has like an LED light strip, like bright white lights on it. He had like LED circles, like, like a Jeep, what a Jeep would have. But it's really hard for me to explain what it, how he had on his truck. But it was sick. So, he had badass XDs on it. I talked to him about it. I said, that, that's very cool that, that he was able to design his truck like that. But he told me he's adding stuff to it. So he's adding, he told me that he was sponsored by like Spider LED. He had all kicker sound system. It had black interior with kicker audio in it. So I was like, that is sick. I was like talking about it, continue talking about it. So what kind of changes are you planning to do? So you know how the taillights are like bulbs. So he just recently got spider HID head taillights and headlights for that truck and he's gonna see if he can send pictures of it because he knows that I like I like I like those kind of things you know so he me and him were talking about it and I said do your truck have a train horn he was like oh no because he was like going to t telling me about why he doesn't have a train horn so it's like he said this, this, this is how what he said to me. Our, my truck is meant to be seen, not to be heard. Because he also told me that I do not want people to see my truck and says, Oh shit, there's the guy the train horn, cover your ears. But for my half, I was like, honk that shit. Because you know, if I know that you have a train horn on your vehicle, I'm expecting you to give it a two. Womp, womp. Yeah, you know, because I do that to the kids that have the white Sierra on Hilton Head. So every time I see them, they know to do this. Womp, womp. But it's all good. You know, it's our little, our little game, what we do. Hog it. And 
he was like telling me that's not a good idea. I told him I'm gonna put a fire truck horn on my Tahoe or Yukon. He looked at me and says, are you trying to get arrested or something? The finished project he, he told me is it's gonna be a black grill. I don't know, I forgot the company who's who makes the grill. It's gonna be a black grill and it's the taillights are black but has the LEDs in it. So, and the f headlights are gonna be like blacked out with the LEDs too. So it's basically gonna be a, sil a silver and black truck. Black XDs, oh my gosh. This truck will look sick. It's a process to get your car upgrading, you know, because we're not have a lot of money, so we can just do it all at once. But I don't know if it's true that he's sponsored, and probably he's gonna watch this and says, "Oh, ham pal, you're fascinated, you're fixated." Learned a lot, and I told him I'm still gonna put a fire truck horn because I like those kind of things. Me and Hudson love things that make noise. So I told him about my idea, how I'm going to put my Yukon or Tahoe, I'm going to lift up. So me and him talked about it and he said, he told me you should get a newer one because you don't know who you're buying this used Yukon or Tahoe from. And I told him I don't like boxy stuff and they're too much expense. They're expensive, you know, it would be dope if I was sponsored and have like, because dude, if you see, I mean, it's really hard for me to explain what this dude's truck looked like. I mean, it had kicker audio in it. That's cool. And if I, I mean, I love lifted trucks. I mean, I love those kind of trucks. Lifted F-150, lifted 250s, Sierras, Silverados. I love those kind of things. But I don't want to own one because that's not my style. But I think those trucks are cool and stuff. But with my taste, I like them lifted SUVs. So... I told him about my idea and he looked it up to see if it'll look good if I lift up my Yukon or Tahoe or it's gonna look embarrassing because he'd never seen one before. So I showed him some good images about what kind of Tahoe. He looked at me and was like, wow, that's sick now. They make sick ones too. And he gave me a lot of advice about stuff. So, I mean, I would, I would love, maybe I'm able to talk to him if I can film his truck or if I could at least get pictures of it so I could show y'all what I'm talking about. So uh, he has wheel lights. He could change colors on the wheel lights too. This dude is a Christian. So don't think that he has drugs. He got alcohol. He doesn't have that stuff. My Yukon, I'm still like dreaming, looking one up. Almost bought one two weeks ago, but the interior was all messed up. So I was like, you know, it was a 2012 Denali. So I'm keep on looking for a Denali. The nearest Denali is in Charleston or Atlanta. So I'm kind of like still debating on availability. All I gotta do is be patient, you know? And I'm still looking for a Mustang for my mom. That's what I'm still doing. And I've been talking to dealers and it's a pain in the ass to get like a new Mustang, you know? Car buying, it's so hard, you know? This dude goes to car shows in Georgia little bit of South Carolina and Illinois I mean he goes everywhere for these car shows and if you're one of my fans that sees that Sierra you know what I'm talking about and he, he's dope he's a really cool guy this dude has a good exhaust I think he got mag flows I don't I don't know if I'm correct or wrong but I have to talk to him about it and I don't want him to like look at this video and says have anything turmoil so I mean I'll, if, you, if you're watching this dude I'm just complimenting you on your truck with the guys on Hilton Head with the white Sierra those kids are dope too I talking to them once in a while the silver ice one I could tell that may be the dopest truck I'll ever see because I mean he's still adding to it and the only disadvantage is that this dude doesn't have a train horn. He gave me a brief lecture about having train horns on trucks and these trucks are meant to be seen. So everyone's different and once I get my Yukon or Tahoe, it's my vehicle. I get to do whatever I want with it. So you know, so train horns are awesome because I mean we like those stuff but horn blasters. I mean I've watched videos of trucks versus trains 
I mean, are you gonna, I mean, a, tr a real train horn sounds sexy. A horn blaster sounds like shit. But let me tell you something. The people with the white Sierra, they have a real train horn. So that train horn sounds dope. But back in the day when one of my classmates had a Nissan Armida or Armada, those SUVs and had a train horn, and it, it was a horn blaster. And it sounded like shit. So, if I end up getting a train horn, it's not going to be a horn blaster. But hornblasters.com, they make other good train horns. So, not shit talking horn blasters, but the horn blasters that, like, the cheap ones. It's like, it sounds like ass. It's like, it's like liquid ass. I mean, but with me, a lot of these people have train horns. A lot of these college kids, high schoolers, they got train horns. So it's like, ooh, a train horn. But I like it still, it's dope. But with me, Ham Pow, we'll have a Buell air horn, an ambulance air horn. These. Or a fire truck horn. For advice, how to install train horns, fire truck horns, or any type of horns, make sure no one could see it. Because I don't want it to be like underneath, is it? Oh, there it is. So if a cop rolls by, there it is. I don't do that. So make sure you install them hiding out of sight. So if you get pulled over, they don't see it. Because I would hate for someone to see it. Or a cube. Because if you get pulled over and a cop asks you, Were you honking train horns? Just say, I don't know what you're talking about. Then if he walks by and sees it, let's like, step out of your vehicle. Let me show you some. What is that? It's like, no. But I make sure it's out of sight. So it was like, okay, have a good day. You move on with your day. So this was a blog that I wanted to say. So I hopefully you enjoyed this blog. Catch you in the next week's blog. Peace.